I have a friend that swears that she was able to see through her Amazon one time, and I believe it. I really do. I mean, how much in this world do we really know? Um, I will say this, when I was in an apartment, let's see, the front door was here, and a sliding door was here, and this is, I had been robbed twice before I moved, so it was before anything like that happened, by birth, um, in unison, started at, up here at like the landing, and both said hello, I don't know how many times, and followed something in the house over a 20-minute span. And they did not take their eyes over what was whatever in the room. Of course, I had goosebumps out the yin yang. I'm thinking, okay, that is one organized fly if that's what's happening, you know. <laughs> um, and there's been times when they all were just sitting there quietly, and I know they can hear better than I can, but all of a sudden they all just flew at the same time off the playpen. And Bo was going, you know, like, no, no. And then I was like, okay. I said, and I said, go away, and they were fine. I can't wait to bring um, Coco up to do some work with Jody. Uh, I think as as I've matured, um, you know, thanks to them. You know, I was so anxiety ridden that I, you know I didn't want the bird to hurt anybody, and I didn't want um, them to get scared or spooked. So, and then it's like you know I need to like let the kids grow up, you know. Um, so I think this came at a perfect time. I think, you know, I'm actually taking maybe a day off once in a while where I make sure they have food and water in the morning and I take off for the day before I live for these guys. Um, and it's almost like our relationship's gotten better since I'm taking care of myself more. Huh, go figure. I wonder where I heard that before. Take care of yourself and everything else falls in place. Um, I know. I work till 9 o'clock at night. Now, I will say that when I put them to bed, if, if it's dark out, they're quiet. But Bo has to have the last word. <laughs> he will not say night-night, even though we've been trying night-night for years. It's bye-bye. Mm. Going to bed is bye-bye, and leaving is bye-bye. Right? You know I'm talking about you, don't you? You just know it. You're like, yeah, look at me now. Uh-huh. Where's your mother in relationship to all this? Hmm? Your mother, does she help you with the first? She does now. <laughs> <laughs> she will not she was just scared of birds um, and Bo is intimidating can be but she's come a long way with uh, <laughs> with this she liked them a lot, lot longer than she would admit um, but gave everybody treats and you know would stop by the house she did too I know she did she stopped by didn't she yes she did Bo likes to, yeah, put his head in cups and hear his voice in it. Sharing. Yeah. Are uh, birds, you think birds are good therapy for people for different things? Or what, how have they helped you and what have you heard? If the bird is, I think if the bird is okay with it, then it's a great therapy bird. I mean, I have been able to take Bo into a nursing home. Um, I mean, Bro's got some pretty bright colors, so people that who have had uh, some sight issues and stuff, um, they're help to me because I can't hear canaries. My pitch level, my hearing level, so I get to hear burping all day long. Um, but I can hear them. I can hear their whistles. I can hear their noises. So therapeutically, yeah, they are a therapy for me, too. Um, they remind me of Keep It Simple, and they remind me that having fun is what it's about. Um, and it's okay to make messes. 